Well, good morning, my garden friends. I'm here actually in my kitchen living room because it's awfully warm outside and I wanted to uh, take a moment without swatting mosquitoes. I'm in Windermere, Florida, zone 9B, and we've been having rain every afternoon, so that really does bring out the little biters. And uh, it's still dark outside, so I, I can't see them landing on me. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you a little project I've been doing. My, uh, I always tease my husband and I said our, our kitchen always looks like Mrs. Helbling's second grade science class because I have that kind of mind that every time I see a seed I wonder what would this look like if I germinated it or maybe I could drag that home and, and get it to sprout. So uh, moving right along. I've got my coffee ready and I'm ready to tell you my little story and this is um, a, a little plate with three Haas avocados. We also have Florida avocados here and they have a, a different uh, size seed but this is a Haas avocado and I believe that they do produce here in Florida. Now each one I've taken and I put uh, three little, you could use four, you could use whatever, uh, toothpicks, actually stabbed it right into the seed itself. Okay, I want to make sure you can actually see that. And you can see this is the latest one and uh, it's not quite split yet. So we'll put him back inside. He can, he can just sit there. And the second one is let me take that out and show you it has split and you can see it's got a nice little root there doesn't it but we'll put that one back too because we want number three is the one that's really this was the first one that i did and and this has been a couple months and um, it really has the best roots and also you can see where the greens are just starting to develop so its whole plant is is right there and um, let me just pull that back there you go now the way i did this is i just put those three stick it in nicely just put those uh, three toothpicks in there and put it in I mean you can put it in anything you can put it in a jar this happens to be crystal light containers because we drink so much of it that um, and you keep the water level just up as high as you can and it will naturally split on its own it takes a little while this is just a great project for for kids um, and I hope I never grow up enough that I'm not a kid that I don't think this is just the coolest thing. And when I see it start to split, I go, wow, you know, it's new all over again for me. So anyway, what I'm going to do today is just show you that I have a, I have a pot. Um, I put my uh, coffee filters down in the bottom so that it acts like a little membrane down here and that the, the uh, uh, dirt or soil won't escape. And, uh, and then I filled it with a potting soil, not a garden soil, but a potting soil. Uh, you guys know that I also raise worms, so there's a little bit of worm castings in there, and uh, just, a, just a nice potting soil mix. And then what I'm going to do is just take this seed that I think is just about ready to go here because it's got a sufficient amount. I think it's got two, three, two, two good ones and also the green starting to show. So that to me is real important. And then I'm going to, um, I think I have a little bit too much of a hole in there for it, but I don't want it to break the, I'll just use my finger there. We're just gonna wiggle those down in and pat the dirt in around it. Give it a little, little squeeze. 
and pat that dirt in around it. You could take these out. It's, it's not going to hurt it one way or the other. This is now a plant in there. This is just, you know, it's it's carrier. And uh, it's like the, you know, the baby's left the mother. So and now the baby can form on its own. And that should be fine. So I will give that a little drink of water. Uh, I collect my rainwater. So for me, it will be uh, rainwater or I raise worms. So it will be the worm leachate. And I would guess that within, oh, I bet a couple weeks anyway, I really start to see that green uh, sprout coming up. And I, and I will take you back. I'll show you what it looks like because uh, avocados trees are not hard to grow. You just have to provide it with um, uh, the right, you know, bright sunlight and uh, obviously they, they love sunlight. They grow in California and they grow in Florida. So uh, I believe the uh, proper fertilizer is you could use a citrus fertilizer. Personally, I will use uh, worm castings and, um, and probably a, maybe a, a organic fertilizer on it. So anyway, garden what you've got. Thanks for joining me today. These other two guys will get also get their proper place. Uh, eventually, this will go out in my garden. Uh, I'm growing a food forest and trying to provide us with uh, fruit and vegetables and, and uh, things along the way. So uh, garden what you've got. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section. I hope you give me a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe and come back and see me again. Take care. Bye-bye.